Hello students, today we are going to continue our lesson by learning about polygons. Now a polygon is a plane figure which has more than three lines of symmetry. Assuming I have a triangle, okay? A triangle is a polygon with three sides. So if this angle is X, this angle is X, and this angle is X, we are saying that how many angles do we have here? Three. Now, the sum of interior angles, sum of interior angles of a regular polygon, of a regular polygon is n minus 2 times 180, where n is the number of sides. Where our n is the number of sides. So when we talk about the sum of interior angles of a regular polygon, it is given to us by n minus 2 all multiplied by 180, where n is the number of sides. So when I pick a triangle, for instance, and I want to find the sum of interior angles, then it is going to give us the number of sides here is we have 1, 2, and 3. So the number of sides here is 3. So it becomes 3 minus 2 multiplied by 180. 3 minus 2 is 1 times 180 is 180. So definitely we all know from our previous lesson that the sum of interior angles of a triangle sum up to 180 degrees. The same way when we pick a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral which has four sides. Let's say A, B, C, D. With four interior angles. Now, assuming I want to find the num uh, sum of interior angles in here, then this is going to give us 4 minus 2 times 180 because n we have the formula giving us n minus 2 times 180. So when our number of sides is 1, 2, 3, and 4, we have four sides. So we have 4 minus 2 times 180, which is going to give us 2 times 180, which is going to give us 360 degrees. So the number of interior angles here will give us 360 degrees. So, assuming I'm given a question and I've been told this is x, this is 3x, this is 30 degrees, and then this is 70 degrees, and they ask me to find the value of x. So, it's very simple. The number of sides here represented by this polygon is four sides. So, the sum of interior angles, like I did over here, is giving us 360. So, I am going to say that the sum of interior angles should give me 360. So, I'm going to find the value of x. So, assuming I've been asked to find x, I'll find the value of x. This is going to give us 3x plus x plus 30 plus 70 is equal to 360. So, I put here sum of interior angles of a polygon or of a quadrilateral. Of a quadrilateral, of a quadrilateral. So this is going to give me 3x plus x is going to give me 4x. 30 plus 70 is going to give me 100. And then we have 360 here. So 4x will be equal to 360, we subtract from 100 minus 100. So 4x will be equal to 260. So our x will be equal to 260 over 4, 65 degrees. So if x is 65, it means this angle is 65, and this angle is 3 times 65, which is going to give us something. But at the end of the day, our value of x, which we are looking for, is equal to 65. Now, there are various types of polygons. We have the hexagon nonagon, decagon, and so on and so forth. So you use the same principle in solving most of them. So I'll leave you with some more questions and then you solve. 